to use. <laughs> 12.3 inch. Basically what we got going on here is a 12.3 inch diagonal LCD. Intention is to stick it in my laptop case, or my computer case, right about there. Monitoring of stats and all that kind of stuff, we'll see if that's where I go with it. Or if it just becomes an extra monitor with, uh, you know, some live wallpaper on it and uh, and uh, just something pretty in the case. Basically, love the uh, height Y70 touch, but uh, that's a lot of money. And this was much less. A uh, little stand for it. Um, I've seen these little tablet type stands before. Uh, just really, you can just straighten it out and tighten it with that. Not always the strongest, but I do have one basically holding up my towel but that I use for an alarm clock up in the bedroom, so not the uh, purpose-built stand, but not bad. HDMI cable. That's a USB-C to USB-C. Some of my quick charger here. What do we got going on on this guy? So multiple voltages at 5 volts, it's 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps. 12 volts, 1.5 amps, so 18 watt charger essentially at maximum. What do we got here? Uh, USB A to C, USB A to C, and then basically a little bit of an instruction book uh, there as well. So I'm just going to end up testing this initially with the phone. Nice reflection of beaker to start with here. Hey, beaker. Okay, so. Uh, Pregen is the companies with the name on it there, whether they're the full manufacturer or what, I'm not sure. But Pregen, Pregen, it is a 12.3 inch screen, 1920 by 720 uh, pixels. Uh, so if you were to kind of expand that out uh, to 1920 by 1080, it's essentially two thirds of a 19 by tw uh, 1920 by 1080 panel. Um, and if you had that full size panel, it'd be 13 and a quarter inches. Fairly solid pixel density then. Um, not as good as, uh, say, a small 4K, but definitely uh, very solid. On the one side, we've got two USB-Cs and an HDMI. The USB-C gives you, um, if you've got the USB-C port on your computer or whatever, you can just use one cable to power this and do the data and the input and output uh, to it, all that kind of stuff, so that would be good. If you're hooking up to, say, a game console, you'd bring in the HDMI. Uh, for your video signal, video and audio, and then you do a separate USB-C cable to power the unit. Uh, what have we got on top? On top there is nothing. On the other side, the right hand side, we've got um, setting controls and a bunch of menu control items, power button, and phone jack. Three uh, quarter mil headphone jack, nothing on the bottom. On the back, 75 by 75 millimeter BES amount, and um, uh, also looks like a quarter 20. That wasn't mentioned in the listing on Amazon, but a quarter 20. I just got a little tiny quarter 20 tri tripod here, a little rusty because it's been in the pool. Um, just junky little thing, but let's get this in here. And yep, that works. So you could use this fairly easily as a um, you know, maybe a video monitor for a camera or something like that. Uh, maybe it's not the right pixels you want necessarily for that kind of function. Uh, but maybe not even the right aspect ratio, but that's 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 not bad to be able to have that flexibility to mount that to essentially a standard camera tripod. So that's cool. Okay, one side of the USB cable on plugged into the phone. Plug in. I'm going to plug in just to the top port. I'm not sure it matters. Plugs in. Okay, when I did that, it just kind of dropped me out of the recording, but I'm in here now. Um, monitor TV can't display decks. Well, it seems to be doing something, because the uh, touchscreen is definitely working. Uh, yeah, and it's not mirroring what a camera is doing, so that's good. It seems to be functional. Definitely does touch. Uh, I'll check. Uh, the speakers and everything like that when I got it hooked up to the computer because that's my use case that I'm actually going to use this for. Okay, here's it is connected to the PC. See all the different 
icons down there. It looks fairly sharp, just a standard Windows wallpaper on there. A couple things to note. My PC does have a USB-C port, but apparently it's not enabled for video out. So I wasn't able to just use an USB-C to USB-C cable for it. So I've got HDMI cable coming out the side, going into my graphics card, and I've got a USB-C to A being powered, um, basically powering the unit and also setting up the touch. So one thing I did find also through testing is that one of the USB-C to A cables appears to just be power. I can't find anything on it that marks it different than the other one, but I can only get the touch to function with one of the cables. Basically, it does not detect this as an input device uh, when uh, I use that other cable. But when I use this one into the same USB port on the computer, it's all good. So that's something to watch for as well. I don't know if I got a bad cable or if that's just intentional, where you would just use the one as a, uh, a power cable with the power brick. But it is something to watch for if uh, you don't get the touch to work. So a couple other things to notice on the touch. So if I touch the screen here, right now it's uh, actually working up on this screen up here. So that is cool. You could use it as an input device to draw on that screen up there or do other things like that. Um, but that's definitely not the normal use case. So what I need to do is tell Windows that I want to use the touch on this screen. So to do that, we go down into the search bar here. We look for control panel. Do I have it right there? Yeah, let's run control panel. So under control panel, what I'm looking for here is tablet PC settings. So this guy right here, we're gonna click on that. It's gonna open another window right here. And what we're gonna do is click on setup. And what you get is every window goes white. You can see I've got color balance is a little different on that water, but every window is white. So what it says on the text here is tap this screen with a single finger to identify it as the touch screen. If this is not the tablet PC screen, press enter to move to the next screen. Uh, to close the tool, just press escape. So this big monitor, I could basically, basically tap on the screen right now and I would have touch control over Basically, I would touch on this, the screen, and it would be controlling stuff on this monitor. That's um, not what I want though. So I'm gonna press enter. It scrolled over to this vertical screen. That's also not the one I want for touch. Scrolled up to my top screen here, also not the one I want. Boom, scrolled down here. It did pick this one down here. I'm gonna tap on it. Now it's selected, and if I click, now it's using the proper screen. So that's cool. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach down and let's start Spotify, I guess. It's opening up over here just because that's where I've got it as my default. Uh, let's maybe quick play song. So it's playing something off my normal speakers or I can go here the uh, it's not on here there it is so there we go now if I scroll up here to change click on that now it's down on this guy you can hear this the sound coming out of that little hollow obviously not great but it does function let's switch that back to my normal speakers music from hacks man okay so that works I'll have to go into wallpaper engine give a nice little screen here so at this point I need to decide basically I've got two options on how I want to use this and I got to decide which one that's going to be first option would be basically run the cables in behind the computer here and just put the unit here and basically use it as almost um, uh, another stream deck so basically I've got oops, my stream deck off. Yeah, so I could use it like a stream deck essentially. Just put little icons on the screen that I double click, I could click and use up here, things like that. Uh, or the other option, so I can put it in my case. So part of what drove the getting this unit in the first place was looking at the height Y70 touch and the great uh, uh, basically corner display on there. That's sort of cool. 
Um, but I mean, I'm running a, a micro ATX case, um, not case, but motherboard in there. Not a very big uh, graphics card. Basically, small small components, and it would uh, really be kind of <laughs> very little in a height Y70 case because that's a very big case. Grant, and then the height white 70 wouldn't fit here properly, or if it did, it would be hiding the screen. So I'd have to bring it over here and essentially make it a wall. Uh, and that's not what I wanted. So instead, this unit should essentially fit. I'm gonna have to remove uh, Grogu and the Mandalorian here, but in here and covering only just a little bit of the graphics card up against the glass here. So uh, getting everything set up for the uh, touch screen is gonna be kind of pointless because it'll be behind the glass. So it'll just be for pretty and for some from display stuff more than touch. Put other like diagnostic tools up there, things like that. If I wanted to, temperatures, things like that, just for monitoring. I wanna go a little bit bigger, maybe just a splashy uh, wallpaper and a couple icons and things like that, but that's about it. But I gotta see how this is gonna fit. So based on looking at it, what's gonna happen here is it pretty much fits the whole side to side, but there isn't enough room on the side over here to run um, my HDMI cable and USB-C cable out through the uh, PCIe slot covers there. At least the cables will, these cables would bend too, have to bend too much, especially the HDMI, it's not gonna work. So the second option there was to basically punch a hole through the side, there's some mesh right there, but just where it needs to line up, it would have to cut out some metal. So while I used to do case modding way back in the day, yeah, I'm, it's a little bit different than I wanna do on this particular case. It's not a, a case I'm super attached to, it's just, uh, yeah, so I just don't wanna mess around with it too much. So instead, I'm gonna use some 90 degree um, connectors for the HDMI and USB-C. Technically to go out the back on this one, just the way it's set, it's a 270 on the HDMI, and then it's 90 on the USB-C because it doesn't matter orientation, but it's a 270, not a 90 for that one, just the way it, it uh, is um, identified. So uh, yeah, so at this point, I'm gonna basically shut down the computer, open the case, see if I can get this thing to sit in there. Okay, so it'll fit nicely. The only problem is, yeah, my, my connectors are over there. I thought about trying to push it through these grills here, but there's actually a chunk of metal there um, first that I'd have to cut into instead. So instead of just um, being able to trim out just a few holes, I have to actually drill through some more metal than that. Um, so I'm not sure I'm quite willing to do that today on Christmas Day. So I suspect I'm going to order some uh, 90 degree connectors. I like the spot of it. And it won't impact airflow at all. Basically air coming in the back and it's just going up through there it's, and it's gonna press up against the glass. So it's not gonna impact airflow at all that I can kind of tell. So it should be okay. I just need to get those adapters. Okay, there we go. A little bit of reflection here on the glass. So that's a little unfortunate, but that looks not bad. Uh, yeah, so I just got it set up with wallpaper engine, a little bit of a dynamic graphic there. I'll probably put some other, other little uh, widgets and things down there eventually here. But yeah, that all works pretty nice. Um, yeah, no touch screen obviously uh, with it set up the way it is, but that's, that's okay. I really just wanted the picture more than the touch screen stuff. And if I do want to touch the screen, I'll put it down over here, eventually pull it out of the case. So yeah, the um, the 90 degree stuff kind of worked. I still needed to do some modification on the case, unfortunately, but it's not too bad. And I think sitting right here, I don't know if it's quite visible uh, on the camera or not, but I can kind of see out through the back of the case just a little bit on this edge. The screen's not as far over to the left as I would personally have liked it. So I might need to do a little bit more uh, modification, but. Overall, that's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. 